Hi everyone, I'm back today to do um, a makeup tutorial because on Twitter people kept requesting me to do makeup tutorial to like a pool and I did drugstore products, like my favorite ones, versus makeup tutorial and makeup tutorial got the most votes. So that's what I'm going to, to do today. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. I start with moisturizer so like my foundation doesn't become cakey or anything. So I'm gonna apply this to my face. Um, I only do a little bit because this goes on a lot. And I get it if I have any, like spots, you see. Just spots like all around my face. So. And it's like impressions on my face as well, so. And I also um, leave this in my skin for maybe like about 10 minutes or less than like five or 10 minutes and let it dry. So like when you put your foundation on, it won't like become cakey. So after um, this stays in for about like 10 minutes, um, I'm going to take my um, Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free and Balance Foundation in the shade 235 Pure Beige. And I'm going to do three stripes across my face and across my chin be here again and then it's very hard to see this because it's like basically with my same skin color on right here and my t-zone because that's like and under my eyes don't forget that and also on my lids as a primer I use this primer and I'll be I'll film, I'm gonna do this off and I'm gonna blend it. Okay, once that's all blended out, I blended it out with this brush. It's a best tote brush. It's a, it's a, it's, both, it's an angry little brush, but I blend it out with my foundation. So after that, then I'm going to apply this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. This is in the shade CW04 Beige. And I'm gonna be blending this under, anywhere under my eyes like this. And this is like, I hate these applicators because um, I have to like keep going in with that. I think it's like very, um, what is it like? It's not sanitary to be honest. gonna get some nice spots I have on my face like scars anything it's gonna go back in with this and apply a little bit more because this is not and then a little bit right here and I'll be back so after I filled in my brows I use I by the way I use the essence um brow pencil in the shade like dark brown I don't even, I don't even know what it is because like how tiny it is and I use a spoolie and I blend this to them already so that's done then now I'm going to take let's see where it is oh it's right here I'm going to contour my face here, here with this elf contour contour palette and it's has you get um these two contours and then these two highlights but i don't use the highlights a lot because they're crap the contours are really good so i'm gonna take the darker contour and i'm going to contour my cheeks with what brush so i'm using the same brush i used to my foundation but it's like i have two of them so all right, so I'm gonna take this and I actually blend both of them together. Actually, I'm gonna use both of them. Change my mind because 
Okay. This will open up my clothes bags. <laughs> You get a mirror with this too as well, so which is awesome. So you can kind of like see what you're doing while you're contouring your face. Just finished contouring and so after I contoured I'm going to take the CoverGirl um, professional loose powder and it's in the shade 105 translucent fair <sighs> that was a little bit so now I'm gonna I'm going to put it into the cap and I'm going to do this under my contour And then I'm also going to put this under my eyes. The beak under my eyes. And on my forehead a little bit just to like give it a little bit of. I'm also going to do my neck now with some a little bit of powder. Because I don't put a lot of foundation on my neck. Because then it gets all cakey on there for some reason. So. So now um, I'm gonna leave everything that I baked on my face for like 10 minutes and now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. People will keep tweeting. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, I use this a lot. So yeah. Um, so I'm gonna take the shade, I'm gonna use for my brow bone, I'm taking this best tote brush. And I'm going to use the shade Natural Peaches. And kind of put it onto my brow bone. Not just to define a little bit while I'm applying the eyeshadow to blend out my finger a little bit. Next, I'm going to do my creases of my eyes, and I'm taking the angled brush because that's got the creases, and I'm going to use the shade Man Cat, which is this shade right here. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to apply this to my crease. doing as well looking at a mirror I'm show right now okay <laughs> this was a little bit more which is right this one in the middle it's like a shiny shade and I'm going in with that on my lids oh, that's 
since it's been 10 minutes now I'm going to brush this away in my eyes <sighs> so much on my contour looks like hella good right now so yeah that's that so far and now I'm going to apply um, some eyeliner with this um, Master Graphic Eye Studio by Maybelline. And it's like a marker and it like, it's like perfectly for my, and I really need this. So I actually did my eyeliner like really good off camera. That's what that looks like. And after that, I am now going to curl my lashes with this eyelash color. Well, mascara to mm, mascara. We're gonna use this mascara. These lip lines, your lashes like born after of this, like. Like it's freaking cool as hell. Like it's so cool. And we do the same thing on the other side. going to apply my um makeup revolution um pro illuminate highlighter oh jeez blinding okay so this is gonna do this i'm going to highlight my nose my, my cheekbones and my temples a little bit and my brow bones so i'll be back doing that so i'm going to now highlight with this brush I have from Real Techniques. Now I'm going to take a brush to get my grab bones and my nose. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to do my nose. I think this is Cupid's bow. Mm, hello. Do Cupid's bow in my nose and then my brow bone. Do the other one. So this is my completed makeup look and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything I used, I'm going to try and put it in the description box down below. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and like and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will try to see you guys next week. Bye!